Good morning friends. I want to show you how I'm going to take this, which is a napkin holder, and turn it into this. So those of you that have been with my channel for at least a year know that we got a puppy last year and she took this down off of the table when I was doing the dishes in the kitchen. She went up on the table, threw all the napkins all over, and chewed on this napkin holder, which just gave me a good excuse to show you how to take a beat up piece like this, use some chalk paint and decoupage, and turn it into what I had just shown you before. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm taking this Americana, the chalky finish paint, it's called Whisper, and you can see that it's just a bit off-white and almost matches this background color of the napkin identically. And I will paint the whole surface first. Now so you know I'm using these pouncer brushes because if something's got little, like not that you have things with teeth marks in them, but if something's got dents in the surface, wood especially, if you've got little problems like this, rather than throw this out, and of course I clean this thoroughly, with some alcohol first. I'm going to use two different size sponge brushes so I can get into these little spaces. But also, when you pounce the paint on, it tends to get into these little holes a little bit better. So I'm going to paint the whole surface with my chalk paint. And I'll finish painting the rest of the piece. I'm going to put this aside to dry. I just want to mention one thing. You know how sometimes I put things in the oven so that they dry a little bit more quickly? I believe this may have some glue around the base here holding these up. I think there's, they're nailed in, but there's also some glue. And sometimes the heat in the oven can melt that. So I'm not going to put it in the oven. I'm going to let this air dry. And I'm only suggesting that because if you have some type of a piece like this, you always want to be careful if you've got any glue on something. You don't want it to go in the oven. This is dry and I'm using the Americana decoupage glue and I'm going to apply it only over the surfaces where I'm going to decoupage. Make sure you get the ends too because the ends are where we sometimes just pull up the brush and the decoupage glue does not get to those ends. I'm going to apply one coat to both sides and let this dry. And then I'll come back with my craft iron. I technically could use my regular handheld iron if I'm careful. I just happen to have a craft iron. By the way, guys, the links for everything are down below this video, including that craft iron, and it comes in very handy. And it's great for avoiding wrinkles. You see I'm going over this a few times, it's because I've got those little tooth marks in there from my girl. And I'll let this dry and I'll come right back. So the craft iron is heated up and you want to make sure you separate your napkin. Sometimes I will get a message from someone showing me their work and it looks like they've separated the bottom piece and not the second piece because sometimes napkins are only two ply and sometimes they're three but if you don't separate the napkin that's going to cause a ton of wrinkles. By the way guys I'll show you an easy way to cut. It's very hard to cut napkins with one of those slide cutters and it's also difficult with the scissors to get a nice straight edge. So if you take this is just a piece of MDF that I use for scrap. And I'm going to show you something else on this board. If you line up the napkin with the edge of the MDF board or whatever you're using, you might have a tile or something, just line it up at the edge so that it's exactly straight. So once it's exactly straight along this edge, the other edge will also be straight and then I'm going to hold it in place and take a nail file 
and make sure you just file down. It's a little challenging because I'm filming and I'm in a bit of an angle, but I'm trying to show you how I do this to get a nice straight line. Just go in one direction. Don't go back and forth. You can tear the napkin easily. But if you just go in one direction with the file, hold the napkin in place so it doesn't move, then you get a nice, straight, clean edge. So for right now, I just want to line up this napkin exactly where I'd like it to be. Place the parchment paper over it and use my craft iron. And you can see how I'm going over this, kind of the speed. You can't just kind of go like this. You want to be careful. You want to make sure you're pressing down with a pretty decent amount of pressure and get those ends. Always crucial. I know I say that in every video. So press these down. By the way, all right, so pull this away. Now I'm going to file away this excess. Again with the nail file, you see that nice, beautiful, clean line. It looks like the napkin is ironed down perfectly. You see there's no wrinkles. Now I'm looking in a pretty decent light. You also want to look in some very bright light and see if you see any areas where it, so there's a tiny bit of a wrinkle there. Let's just go over that one more time. Okay, so it looks very good to me. I don't see any wrinkles. And you do need to add another coat of decoupage glue over this. Now here is where you can get into trouble. So what I'm going to do is add a coat of decoupage glue. Now you can use the napkin decoupage glue for the top part, or you can use the other decoupage glue that you've used. So sometimes people tell me that when they put this coat on, they noticed wrinkles or bubbling, and that is because there wasn't enough glue, decoupage glue, down on the original surface, or you didn't iron it down completely, or both. So you want to make sure this first layer of decoupage glue that you put down is a nice, thick, heavy coat. And if you aren't sure, just do two coats on your first attempt. Let it dry between each coat. Now you can see right here, it looks like there's a little bit of, I don't know what to call it, wrinkling or bubbling. Oh no. Sorry about that. There looks to be a little bit of wrinkling that will actually calm down when this dries. And I'm going to put this aside to dry. I'll do the other side, put it aside to dry, and then I'll come back and show you the next While step. that other piece is drying, I took a this MDF board and I put too light of a coat of the decoupage glue on first. Then I ironed the napkin down and you can see that some parts took pretty well, some did not. Now if your piece looks like this, iron it again just to make sure you can get those down. But sometimes even though it looks like it is ironed down, you may have just ironed the napkin like you ironed a shirt, which would take the wrinkles out, but it won't fix the problem. So then what happens is I'll get an email saying when I put the second coat on, I got wrinkles, I got bubbles, I tore it. And that's because there wasn't enough glue down in the first place. So I know I'm doing this haphazardly and pretty quickly, but I'm just trying to show you what can go wrong if you don't get that first coat of glue down. So you see there's some bubbles in there, there's some wrinkles. It just doesn't look good. So it's really crucial that you get that first coat of glue down, a nice thick coat, and let it dry. And make sure you're only using the top ply of your napkin. Okay, this is all dry now. And I know some of you will tease me and say, where is the glitter? Where is the gloss? <laughs> on this one, 
oops, there's, there's a piece of glitter on there accidentally. I'm going to put a matte varnish on there and I'll be using the Deco Art matte varnish and I will put that over the whole piece. So I'm going to cover the sections that I decoupaged and even the areas that I did not just to protect this. I'll only need one coat of this, but let me get this top coat on here. Okay guys, there is our completed napkin holder. And let me put some napkins in there. So once again guys, that is our video for the week. Feel free to contact me over on Upcycle with Decoupage if you go over there and like and follow the page. Facebook will let you know when I put a new video out. But also send me some comments down below. You guys know I have a new line of papers over on Zazzle. Please let me know down below if you've got any ideas for some papers you'd like to see. But pretty nice guys. This was going to go in the trash. Probably uh, end up in a landfill somewhere. But look what we've done. It's brand new all over again. So I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks again. See you next week. Bye bye.